go. That better. Was, that was better. Yep. Yeah. Thirty-seven eight. Look at that. Thirty-seven eight thirty-one. Thirty-seven eight thirty-one. Dang. God bless America. There we go. Good morning. Hopefully you can hear me. I don't think you can probably see me too great. Uh, it's uh, seven o'clock in the morning, and I am headed to a autocross novice school. This will be my first experience at autocross. Never done this before. Uh, I'm taking my 1999 Ford Mustang Cobra. This car's got 32,000 original miles. Let's see, we're headed that way. And uh, this car is completely stock, five speed, 320 horse, uh, 4.6 liter V8, independent rear suspension. Uh, this will be my first, uh, my first opportunity to see what it does and I couldn't be more excited. So I'm gonna bring you along today, uh, probably about 15 minutes out from the location where I'm gonna be racing. And uh, I've got my camera set up in the car and hopefully I can, uh, I can video some of my runs. Um, but this is a school, so I'm gonna have an instructor in the car showing me the ropes, teaching me, uh, teaching me some of the finer points of autocrossing and uh, I can't wait. So thanks for being here. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe and uh, share the video if uh, you find it interesting. Let's, uh, let's go do some racing. All right, we're here. Look at all the cars. Pretty awesome. A lot of Mustangs, I think there's five. Porsche, this Mustang GT, obviously my car, there's a Cobra, there's another Cobra over there. And then there's guys on trailers. My car has been teched. I just checked uh, torque on the uh, lug nuts. I dropped to 30 pounds of pressure in the tires per my coach's recommendation. And uh, we are getting there. So looking forward to it. All right, so I've gotten a chance to walk the course. This is, uh, this is what we're looking at. We've got two courses. This is one, this is two. I'm gonna run two first. So I've walked it with my instructor and uh, we've talked about, we've talked about the, uh, the routes uh, and, and how best to attack it. So I'm looking forward to getting out and, and actually driving it. Um, stoked for the car, it's a beautiful day. It's supposed to be like 70 degrees today. So the top will be off here shortly and uh, just cannot wait. We've got driver's meeting in about 15 minutes and gonna go make some runs. So I will, uh, I'll have the camera on in the car and my coach uh, will be talking about the runs as we drive it and see uh, how it goes. And uh, yeah, just looking forward to it. I do have, uh, in one of my other videos, I do have new tires on the car. They're Continentals, Extreme Contact Sports. Uh, those are brand new. They've got like 500 miles on them. There isn't the, there's a lot of Mustangs here. I hadn't seen this one before. Mustang Cobra over there. I'm guessing that's a Terminator car, maybe. We're, we'll see. I, I don't know right offhand. Porsches, Dodge Neon. That looks like an SRT4. We've got a Fiat. We've got this Porsche here. This Mustang GT with the performance pack. Uh, I'll walk you around some of these rigs as we, this one's cool too, this uh, green one out right there so we'll uh i'll show you some of the cars as we go um we did do we did do tech inspection checked out the checked out the helmet my car passed tech pretty easily actually i mean the car's darn near brand new with 32,000 miles on it and uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna go put some put some rubber down see how it uh see how she does so we know what we're gonna do we're gonna as soon as you hit the gas and you're going to go down there straight and hard and yep. stay a little open yep. and dive in. Yep. To that little, that small, <laughs> that little zip. slalom. Yep. He'll tell you where to stop. Well, got a cone down Somebody there. They already got a cone. Yeah. And then I want to stay a little bit wide to enter in that long, 
Yeah, stay a little open yeah. and then close it as you come out of that dip. Okay. <clears throat> drive it the way you did it last time with just a little more heat yeah and see if you can hold it uh, as you go into that turn Keep, carry a little more speed in around that, the outside in that sweeper. okay because i think it'll be okay it didn't ever feel like it wanted to yeah get get loose, get loose. but just be thinking about where you can put it in Maybe it was a little wide there. Maybe. And there you can feel it. Sweeper. Yep, it felt good yeah. all the way around. Yeah. There was nothing, nothing, there was no. Yep, no herky jerky, yeah. smooth. Yeah. Just got through that first element to. quickly. So, always looking ahead, you're already turning, you're already turning, you're already turning, you're already turning. You're already turning. Now, Watch put it, it down. Yes, good. Tuck in and get a little open and then go again. This one, there we go. Yeah. I thought I needed to go the other yeah. side for a second. <laughs> Apparently, they're not going to put a stop sign here, so we have nope. to stop. Okay. I missed you. Yeah. So turning now and turn again. Turn, turn, turn. Don't stomp it, just turn. There you go. Good. Now, nice. Oh, good, 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 good. You open it just a little and then dive in. Dive out. Dive in. Dive out. Nice. That went really smoothly. That felt good. And you got quite a bit more speed this time. Yeah. With virtually no real, I mean, you didn't have any glitches that time. Okay. Yep, I did. I went. like just a, just a hair. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew I'd done it too. I was right, like, ah. Uh, but at least you had a sense of where the car was, and you yeah. hit it with the back end, not the front. Yeah, end. yeah. These are all good things. Right. <laughs> Eight minutes left. Okay. We're gonna do. One I just more. want one more clean run. That's good. You qualified that one more clean run. I want one more clean run. We That's what I'm need, after. We might need two to get there. <laughs> no, no. It's gonna be this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, morning uh, track time is done. Uh, it was awesome. They have two courses set up uh, with different elements. Both of them are a little bit different from each other, uh, which is great. And then uh, we had some lunch and now we're going to go into, uh, they've essentially what they did was link the two tracks in the middle. So you're getting all the elements you got in the morning, but now there's a big link, uh, a big curve to go from one uh, to the other. So it'll be interesting to see how, the, how that changes the course. Uh, I've got some really positive instruction. It's been great. Uh, her name is Paula and uh, been really uh, helpful to me. I also had a couple, um, at least one other coach jump in and ride with me uh, early on, which was great. <clears throat> um, gotten some good, good pointers. Uh, I need to be more aggressive, to be honest with you. Uh, this car is brand new to me. Uh, autocross is new to me, although 
I've had some uh, I've had some training in driving. I was a, a emergency vehicle operations instructor for uh, a police department. I've ridden uh, motorcycles at a high level and did a lot of cone work on those. I understand those are different, but you still have to kind of look for the same cues. <clears throat> so I've I've got a I've got some training um, that not everybody has, but there's some things that translate and there's some that don't. And so it's been great to get uh, some pointers where I need to be to get past cones, uh, what I should be looking at, where I should be looking. And then for me, it's just figuring out this car. I've not driven, other than, you know, driving it around town, I've never driven it in a performance environment. I haven't owned it that long, so this is all new to me uh, with the Cobra. Um, so far, it's handled really well. Uh, we finally this afternoon turned the nannies off because uh, they were interfering, so I knew that I was getting closer to the limit of what the car is capable of. So I turned those off, and that made a big difference uh, towards the end. I was able to run both courses clean and reasonably quick. Um, they're going to put the timing up after lunch, and so it'll be interesting to see if I can uh, if I can do better uh, or improve my time uh, throughout the afternoon. So I'll keep track of that, and I'll video uh, those runs as well. Uh, but just been an awesome awesome experience. There's so many cool cars here guys There's Porsches and Camaros and Mustangs and this uh, this kit car that's right in front of me That's like uh, it's got a five-liter coyote in it and obviously your Miatas and your Porsches and there's a there's a Fiat over there um, All sorts of cool cars and then this afternoon um, after three o'clock, we'll have some time that we can ride with instructors in their cars. So I'm hoping I can uh, jump in with a couple folks. There's a really cool black Mustang here, uh, 90s, early 90s or mid 90s. That's a Cam T car that's been worked over. I'd really like to ride in that, and, and uh, I've heard that that instructor is a, a, a good driver and uh, gain some uh, experience riding with him. So all in all, it's been a great day, and I am looking forward to my next event, which is coming up. Uh, I think next month down in Eugene. So I'll uh, I'll keep filming and appreciate you watching. Uh, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I'd be happy to uh, try to answer them. Like I said, I'm a novice at this. This is my first event and uh, I wanted it to be a school so that I could gain some experience and gain some insight before I just was thrown to the wolf, so to speak, at an actual autocross. So it's been great and I'm looking forward to more. Take that. Yes.
17. I got another almost oh, over a second off. 39172. 39172. Wow. Yep, yep. Good. Thirty-seven eight. Look at that. Thirty-seven eight thirty-one. Thirty-seven eight thirty-one. Dang. God bless America. There we go, dude. That felt good all the way around. That was very good. Very 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 good. All right, guys, you've seen the footage. It was a uh, it was a great day. Got to really enjoy the Mustang. I went from uh, I went from ooh, standby. So when we started timed runs, I started at forty one point three two six was my first run. I wasn't able to get the second or fourth one for some reason. The timer glitched, and I wasn't able to get a time. But my third run was 40.341, so I went from 41.326 to 40.341. It continued to go down. Every run got better until I hit, on my 11th run, I hit a 37.931, and that was my best time. My last two were in the low 38s, 38.248 and 38.199, but my best was that 37, I'm sorry, 37.831, no, my, my ninth run was my best 37831 and then my second best was 37931 uh, so I started at 41326 and was down to 37831 and that was about the limit of my car and my abilities uh, today and uh, actually something I wanted to show you guys uh, we we took the tire pressure down from normal and look at it's I don't know if you can see it but it's scrubbed all the way to there so I think I actually need to raise my tire pressure um, cause it was, it was leaning way over on the sidewall. Uh, and you can see, maybe you can see it from there. I hope it's, the camera's picking it up. It might not do a great job, but even the back, it's all the way down past the continental right here. You can see where the, 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 uh, where it changes the, the color. And so I need to, I think I need to go up in pressure. I just talked to one of the guys and he said that he, that I should run it near max pressure on the since these are street tires which I need to figure that out uh, I don't know that right off the top of my head unfortunately what that is but man the car did great stayed cool ran hard uh, I got let's see how many runs I got 13 runs in this afternoon and then a bunch this morning and it ran great no trouble brake still felt good uh, I'm very I'm very pleased so that uh, that does it for today. I'm actually, ooh, <clears throat> my voice is cracking. I'm gonna go try to ride with a couple of instructors to get a 
idea of uh, how much better I can eventually be because there's some people here who are much quicker uh, obviously than me and have cars that are way more prepared than mine um, but uh, yeah this is uh, this is Mike's car here it's a 2021 I think he said um, he ran competitively it's a coyote with a 10-speed automatic there's a saline over there there was another say uh, no I'm sorry that's a Roush my bad saline over here there's a uh, there's a uh, Shelby with a Coyote engine there and a Tremec. Uh, this little Crossfire did well. It was fun to watch. So, anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please, if you wouldn't mind, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, appreciate you being here and watching. Had a great first day of autocross. Uh, I might try to talk a little bit more about some things that I learned today. There were some things that I need to kind of sort out for myself and uh, maybe put pen to paper so I remember them. Uh, on how to be successful at this at this game. So great day. Appreciate um, Willamette Motor Club for sponsoring this and for putting it on and for Paula, my instructor. She was great, very patient with me, and I learned a lot from her and uh, another guy named Ray, I believe his name is. Uh, but we had uh, just had a great time. So thanks for being here. Appreciate it very much, and we'll see you next time.